one of the most important things when you're putting your crop in the ground is planting it at the right depth. Well, this is a real simple segment, Darren, because I'm just going to say, hey, plant your corn at an inch and a half to two and a half inches deep. Two is kind of the ideal, I think. And plant your soybeans at about an inch to an inch and a half deep. Done. Well, what else Brian, do we need to talk about? Brian, that doesn't take into account <laughs> any of the environmental factors that are happening. If it's yep. a super dry year, if it's a super wet year, if we're really early planting, if we're really late planting, because that has to change things, doesn't it? Nope, it's not going to. And that's the big difference between how we view things today and how people have looked at it for many years. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't make some adjustments in there if you want to. That's totally your call. It's your farm. You can operate it however you want to. And if you say, look, I'm not going to have rain for the next month and a half. And if I don't plant it three inches deep, I'm not going to get it to grow. That's your prerogative. But all I'm saying here is for years, there have been studies done on this exact thing. And what they found is, hey, if you're planting your corn any more shallow than an inch and a half, you're going to have nodal roots above ground. That's a horrible thing. Plus, you're going to have more lodging problem. And if you plant deeper than two and a half inches deep, now it takes a lot more energy to push out of the ground. The yield will be less on average. So those things aren't good. With soybeans, yeah, you can lay the soybean on top of the ground and it might grow. But is it really going to stand well? Is everything going to be great? Probably not. We want to have that soybean relatively shallow, a little more shallow than the corn, but still, you got to get it in the ground a little bit. All right, let's talk about soybeans first. And when we think about that inch to an inch and a half planting depth, the big thing that we're trying to avoid here is that top inch of soil. If we can get down at least one inch deep in the ground, we get to a more stable environment. Because when it gets warm out, what happens to that top inch? It can dry out very, very quickly. So we don't want to be in that top inch. You may get enough moisture with just a real small amount of rain to swell that bean up, and then the next couple of days could be hot and sunny and it dries back up and dies. We talk an awful lot about having consistent seed depth with corn, but it's true also with soybeans. If you can plant every seed at the same depth, you give each plant a better opportunity to have great yield. So we would just encourage you, I don't care what tool you are using to plant your soybeans, whether it's a drill or a planter or anything else, but all I know is if you can have more consistent depth in that range, whatever you decide to be at, inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere in there, you probably are going to have slightly higher yield. Now soybeans having a good anchor with that root system is important and that's great. With corn, it is so critical. Corn's got a great big root system, and as Brian mentioned before, if we plant that shallow, we get nodal roots above ground. Nodal roots are the main root system for bringing in water and nutrients for the plant. So for corn plants, we've got to get it down deep enough to keep those nodal roots in the ground. Now the question is, how deep is too deep? Well, if we're down five inches in the ground, would you say that's too deep for corn? Absolutely, I think we'd have 100% agreement that five inch depth is just way too deep to plant corn. But is three inches too deep? Is two inches too deep? You know, that's the real question. Now some would say in my heavy dirt where I've got compaction problems, where I've got surface crusting issues from time to time, I wanna keep it a little more shallow. I understand that, I, I can buy that. And others would say, well, I've got really light soil and I need to go a little bit deeper because that top inch and a half can dry out really quick for me. And I can understand that a little bit too. The key thing to remember here is that seed only has so much energy in it. And if you want your crop to emerge well and have enough energy left to thrive in the very early season, you've got to get that depth moderated. That's why we say inch and a half to two and a half. You may vary it by an inch out in your field and say, you know, I need the two and a half this time, or I need to be closer to one and a half, but never get outside of that zone for any reason. Well, once again, when we start talking about soybean planting depth, most all the time, we want you looking at that inch to inch and a half. With corn, it's an inch and a half to two and a half. And usually for me, I'm gonna tell guys two to two and a quarter inches if we wanna be real precise. Well, speaking of precision, controlling our weed of the week is one of those things that's gonna be very critical for you on your farm. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up later in the show.